The downtown Greenville area has been home to an art museum since the height of the Great Depression. The Greenville Museum of Art opened in 1935, and now, all these decades later, its mission is the same. It wants Eastern North Carolina residents and folks passing through town to see the art of regional artists. We met the museum's executive director, Charlotte Fitzdaniels. If a visitor comes in just to view, what kind of what kind of help do they get if they have questions about different pieces of art you're presenting? Well, we have that a lot actually, whether it's a visitor or it's a student at ECU, and so we come in and we talk to the person about what they expect to see at the museum and kind of give them a rundown about what we have. And then um, we always just make them feel like they can come in to the office and ask us any kind of questions about our, our exhibits. So this isn't pretentious. You don't come here with your nose yeah, in the air. No, we and... really aren't. And I think that's one of the things um, I like about my, my job is that we are truly a community resource. We're a museum, a small art museum, and um, we really open our arms to the community. The museum and its leaders focus on buying new artwork every year while keeping the current exhibits fresh and inviting. At the Greenville Museum of Art, we feel like there's a niche uh, in eastern North Carolina and, and it's a beautiful landscape and you get back up into the uh, far eastern regions and the uh, waterways and the ocean. Uh, it's just a great scenario for painting and we've had some great artists come from this area and great budding artists coming up as we talk. The Greenville Museum of Art might be located in eastern North Carolina, but its rotating paintings present the best of western North Carolina landscapes and artists. This is an image of, of Grandfather Mountain. Um, it's um, an artist named Philip Moose, who is a native of North Carolina. And um, this is one of our, one of our um, strongest pieces in the collection. What makes it strong? Um, I think that... Um, his passion for the mountains of North Carolina and the way he painted it um, really shows how, um, how the, what it was like to be around Grandfather Mountain. I think most people come in this museum and recognize this is Grandfather Mountain if they've been there. And this is just one of 550 different yes. pieces mm -hmm. that you sure permanently is. own, I mm -hmm. presume. Yes, yes, the museum owns. And shows come in and out of here all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how often do you rotate exhibits? We, um, in, our, in the back galleries, we rotate exhibits about um, 10 times a year. So almost once a month you can yeah, come see a different pretty much. exhibition. And we, and we do also try to um, exhibit North Carolina artists who are current, who are working all kinds of different media. So, What do you look for when an artist who's still living is presenting something? I look for something that I feel is going to speak to the community, whether it's, it's a it's an exhibit that might be a comforting exhibit to people, like a, a night, like for our, instance, our K through 12 exhibition with the Pitt County Schools, or something that's going to make people reach out in their thinking about art and the world as well. So it can range from, um, you know, the, the comfortable, fun exhibit to something that's more um, intellectual. And since the art exhibits are rotated so often, every visit to the Greenville Museum of Art can be a different experience. The Greenville Museum of Art's mission statement is to provide and promote visual arts through the exhibition, collection, and education. And we do exactly that, but we do it on a regional basis and what's going on in Greenville and Pitt County and local art. As the museum approaches its 80th anniversary, it keeps thriving through local support and by an infusion of growth that Greenville's experienced in recent years. I think it's passion in the community and for the people who, who are part of the um, the arts community in Greenville. Greenville's been a small town for most of its history, but it's grown in the last few years, and I think that certainly keeps us viable. Uh, people want arts and culture in Greenville, and um, that's just true in 1935, and it's true now.